So now let's take a look at connecting our application, our Java web application to a database server. So here we have the browser and all of its functionality makes the request to the, to the web server. The web server will talk to the application server. Here we'll have our MVC pattern going on. If we need to interact with the database, so we need to read from the database or write to the database, we're going to have to have this little piece of functionality right here. And for this, we'll need a driver. And the driver just lets us connect two dissimilar things together. Uh, so in this case, it's Java and the Java web application and the database language. Now we're going to specifically be using Tomcat as our application server. And we're going to be using Oracle as our database server. But this database server could be anything. It could be MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, anything like that. Once we get this driver into our project and get the connection established, our web application will be able to talk to our database server. Now we can also manage the database server using a developer application, and we're going to use Oracle SQL Developer as a way to create our tables uh, and do some initial work uh, on the database before we have all of these components in place. So let's take a look at first downloading the Oracle SQL Developer, getting it connected to our database server creating a table, putting some uh, data into our table. And then the next thing we'll look at is creating a new application and adding this driver piece. And then finally, we'll connect our web application to our database server and be able to read the data. And this will prove that our connection is good, our driver is good, uh, and we're able to uh, communicate with that database server. I'm going to search for Oracle SQL Developer Download. And my top option here goes to oracle.com. I'll accept the license agreement. And I have multiple different options here. I'm going to pick uh, Windows 64-bit with the Java Development Kit 8 installed or included. I'll have to log in to Oracle. So if I don't have an account, I'll have to create an account. I have one. And after I get signed in, I can see my download starts. And I'll let that run. And after the download is finished, I can unzip it. After it finishes extracting then, I can go in and here's SQL Developer. And I'm going to drag it to my Documents folder. And I'm going to give it a little more specific name. Uh, this is 4.1.1 uh, version. I can clean this up now. and. SQL Developer uh, is an application that you can just run. It's all self-contained. It doesn't need to install. Uh, so I can uh, create a shortcut to the SQL Developer. Executable. put it on my taskbar, and now I'm basically ready to go. Or not. If you get an error like this, we're going to attempt to fix this by going to Program Files, Java, the JDK, bin. Here is the file name that we're missing, the MSVCR100. So let's copy it.
We're getting into the SQL developer that we extracted and put in the documents folder there. We're going to get into SQL developer folder, subfolder. Into the bin folder. And we'll just paste in here. We'll paste into this bin folder. And it looks like it's loading. We'll see what happens. No need to import. And it looks like it loaded up OK. First thing I need to do is make a connection to my database. And I can give it any name. This is the friendly name. Um, I'm going to call it Delphi Azure. Uh, this is your username and password that I've given to you uh, to be able to connect to your database. Uh, and then we need to include the host name and the SID. Those need to be specific for our installation. And make sure we're on port 1521. So I'll put a document that outlines all of this on ICON for you. And after I've entered those field and, uh, fields and clicked connect, I can see that I have a connection now. I'm in my database table. And so here I can enter uh, SQL commands. And after I enter the command, I can run the command. If I expand this out, I can see tables uh, and uh, all different triggers, all different kinds of things uh, in here that we will uh, use a bit of. I want to create a table now that's just got a little bit of data in it. I'm really concerned about the connectivity. Uh, that's what I'm really trying to test here. Uh, so if I right click tables, I can choose to do a new table. I'll give it a name. favorite color and I want to just collect two fields name and color they're both going to be var cars 20 should be fine um, the null not null I'm going to leave them um, both as required I'm sorry they would both be optional uh, I could click them to require them if I wanted. After I've got a couple of fields in there, I'll OK. And I can see my column name, my data type. After it's created, I can open it and see my column name, data type, those kinds of things. I can click on the data tab and insert a row. And I'm just putting some sample data in here. After I've put in a little bit of data, I can commit the changes. And these now go into my database. And if I come back to here, I can select star from the favorite color. When I execute this query, I should see the sample data I put in. So it looks like I have a table created with two fields. I have some sample data in those fields. Uh, so now the next piece will be uh, getting the JSP application uh, to actually talk to that database.